Okay, so we published this little English magazine about China and Hong Kong, and we sent it all over the world. And apparently we sent it to you. And so you came to know us. So you knew that this group minus or 70s by weekly existed in Hong Kong, right? Of which we both were members. And then uh, you invited us to go to Milan or uh, not only to Milan, you organized a conference in Venezia, which is called the New Boss. The New Bosses. The bosses. Okay, yeah. the New Bosses. Okay, you were referring to the New Bosses as people who control the Communist Party and they were controlling Communist China and Communist Eastern Europe and Communist Russia. You know, all these bosses of the, the Communist countries. And the also the technocrats. Yeah, so they, they, and they, they are it's called the necessary. new bosses. Yeah. So we were invited, and there were three of us who went to Venice. Yeah. You, myself, and, and uh, Wong. Wong. Yeah, where is Wong now? No idea. Why isn't he <laughs> here? <laughs> But I think it's still in the world. Oh yeah. Okay. Anyway, probably living in Hinko. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you see, even before we got to know you, 1984, the year, has some significance to us. Where came from? Where came the uh, significance? Well, actually. Uh, when Mok, you know, told me about this um, filming and videoing, <laughs> the first thing that came to mind is my first day in Venice. <coughs> I got lost. <laughs> Arrived in Venice, you know, oh, and yeah. then I went to the tourist office to get a map to, you know, try to go to the venue where the conference was going to be held. You were going to Venice from Canada. From Canada. And you know... Uh, uh, and I was flying in from Hong Kong. Yeah. Like him, I got lost too. <laughs> I, tried to, I tried to get a taxi. Uh, and I was asked, do you want a uh, taxi taxi or gondola taxi? Wow, gondola taxi. <laughs> now anyway, I arrived late and no one met me at the railway station, so I got into a, uh, a hotel. My trouble was that I arrived one day earlier, <laughs> so nobody, uh, you know, to really go to uh, contact and. Uh, well, but the interesting thing is, you know, I just carrying a very big laptop, twice my size, you know, like a walking mountain, yeah. and then I just walk, you know, following the map. Yeah, which is so unreal <laughs> because even though I followed every you know street and lane and alleys, yeah. I never arrived at that ven uh, venue. <laughs> okay, so that is my very impression of my first day there. But I have a lot of interesting um, encounters. Okay. Many Italian people, you know, show me the way. You know, sometimes at the same spot. Two Italian show me two different ways. <laughs> Maybe that's why I never arrived, okay? Yeah. But that was, you know, kind of when you asked me, you know, what is the significance of 1984? Yeah. But, well, it became earlier, it's 1978 for me. Yeah. Okay, it was a time when, when I was still young then, you know, looking for something. Yeah. yeah. You know, me, you know, dropping down. At Venice, looking for the places where we'll meet with friends and comrades. Well, it kind of signifies, you know, a way of you know what is going to come to us after that. Yeah. Anyway, um, 
I, I back to the minus, you know, why we got that name, you know, as minus and it's related to 1984. It's because actually uh, of the book, of course, you know, uh, the book by George Orwell uh, entitled 1984, which is about the new world, you know, the uh, world in which, you know, was totalitarian, you know, there was something, you know, like the new speak, you know, they, they twisted the language and, uh, you know, the big brother was watching you all the time. So by then, you know, nine years before 1984, we were anticipating this world to be realized and that we were trying to be very consciously fighting against that, uh, using different means. So and this little publication is a manifestation of our uh, concern about how our world was becoming like 1984. Uh, so you guys in Italy, you know, decided that that particular year was very important and organized that international anarchist gathering. And of course, you know, you could not refuse to invite us, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that, that conference, however, you know, the first conference we went to, the conference on the new bosses, you know, was actually very important. To us as well. Uh, well, after after all this year, I have become a storyteller, you know? and then not long ago, about two months ago, I wrote a story about my first day in Venice, you know? yes. incorporating something which is very important. You know, it, uh, well, I have a scene of you know bumping into a, pe a, a priest, you know, very big and fat one. Yeah playing some very interesting touching game with some teenagers. And after that, I met someone. No, I bumped into some, uh, someone who showed me the way to the venue. Yeah. And it was just two alleys away. And there I met a young, a, a young lady, a young girl. Yeah. She, shows me, she showed me where to go to. And on the way to, on the way, you know, taking me to the, to the place where I can find hotels, she was humming a tune. And that was a long time later, I found out that that was the tune of Bella Chow. <laughs> Bella Chow, yes. Bella Chow, the anti-fascist uh, tune. Okay. And, uh, well, I mean, I, I, I was not familiar with that kind of thing. But after 30 years, I met the young people in Hong Kong. I mean, when I'm getting home, I met those young people, the Occupy Star Ferry people. Mm. You know, there was a movement there. And they sang that, that tune too. Oh, yeah. So if you ask me about, you know, what, you know, what has been experiencing uh, from the day we first met comrades in Italy, yeah. Until today, as you know, what's happening today, you know, there is a kind of a tradition following that uh, path, and that was really moving. Yeah, and I, I remember the conference of the new bosses. Of course, we made the presentation. I am not sure if actually, you know, you guys published. Uh, what I presented, but I definitely remember that you published an essay written by Wu Man and uh, you his wife, Yu Xun. They wrote an article about the mass psychology of China uh, that you published in that book. Uh, anyway, other than that, after the Venice conference, you know, I think, you know, we, 
we were invited to go to Milan, yeah. and then we went to some place called Rimini, mm -hmm. and then also Trieste. So there was we, another place too that yeah. begin that begins with F. The, the name of the place. F. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> Actually, we went to these places. Yes. We, and we at the end we went to Trieste. Yeah, yeah, and then we presented our thoughts about China. You know how China was governed by the new bosses, you know, how it actually was very much totalitarian, centrally controlled, and so on. Uh, so it was in 1978. Yeah, it was. Anyway, uh, so there were other conferences I went to. Did you go to another one? No, no, that was. I, I went to another one uh, in I think uh, seventy nine eighty, right? It was a conference of that talked about small is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then after that it was nineteen eighty four when myself, Wardani, the musician and uh, another friend who, whose name is uh, Man Yi. Uh -huh. And we were actually making a 60 millimeter film, a documentary about that conference. Yeah. Of course, it was a very big international gathering. Uh, I think we occupied three venues, uh, there was a big tent, you know, in, in the uh, in one of the squares, and in, inside the tent, you know, there was an exhibition uh, of anarchism of all, all over the world, and we actually made a, a contribution to that, uh, with some pictures, and unfortunately, I don't have all of these things, you know, kept in our in, in our archive. <laughs> uh, we also show a film that we made, you know, a 60 millimeter film. Unfortunately, that film also, you know, is no longer with us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then, you know, we, we made a presentation uh, at the conference. I think the unfortunate thing actually is that Wodanen didn't feel confident enough, you know, to actually offer his music uh, in one of the square, uh, in one of the squares where we met every evening, where we, you guys make music all night. Uh, but, you know, Wodanen didn't present his music. Uh, yeah, after that, actually, after the conference, we also went to different places. We went to Turin, you know, and we met Roberto, uh, who actually was an inventor. Uh, he was the, um, the comic, uh, comic drawer. He was the guy who gave birth to uh, what's his name? The Anarchy. This guy who always carry a bomb in his pocket. But I heard, you know, unfortunately he passed away. And he was, uh, yeah, he contracted coronavirus. And he passed away. I was still recently. So we went to Roma, we went to Milan, of course. And then Gordon and actually, you know, stay on. And then he went to Paris to meet some of our ex comrades uh, in Paris. Uh, okay, that, that, that conference, you know, um, was uh, one of the most memorable things I have ever done. And I have always remembered that. And that was, of course, very inspiring. 
we met people like Mary Bookchin from America uh, and other, other, you know, anarchists. I don't remember if Art Bartel was there. He might have been there. I have to check with that film. <laughs> Maybe we actually filmed him talking or we filmed uh, when he actually filmed us talking to each other. Yeah. Now of course we met, you know, people like Sean Jack Gavini and uh, Marion Anko and, and many others, you know. And subsequently actually Marion actually visited Hong Kong. And her visit in Hong Kong actually appeared in the film. Um, yeah, I mean the Congress or the gathering was very inspiring. Uh, uh, how else has it affected my life? Uh, yeah, to tell you the truth, you know, after that, you know, we have not had very close contact with you guys. Uh, and but I always remember you and what you stood for. Uh, you were good enough to send us, you know, your monthly magazine. But unfortunately, it's in, in, in Italian. And I just looked at the pictures. And, and uh, yeah. And in 2013, uh, it was the last time I went to Italy. I actually was going to Paris to attend an IDEA Congress, uh, which is the Congress organized by IDEA. IDEA is the International Drama, Stroke and Education Theater Association, or an education association. And uh, so I took the opportunity to go to Italy and to Switzerland to meet up with you guys. And of course, you know, I was remembering uh, that I met Rosella. I met also uh, Amidel uh, Bertullo. Do you remember him? Yes. On that occasion, I, I asked him, how, how are you? And he responded, you know, said, not well. Huh, not well. Um, and then after I came back, you know, about a year later, I got the news that he passed away. Yeah. So we all were getting old. <laughs> like you see, these two guys with white hair. We are called the superhero gangs. <laughs> but that is a very respectful yeah. term at the moment when the young when the young people are fighting in the street. We were trying to do our best at the back. <laughs>